And we are back once again to Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are here gonna do the brand new events Giant Bat Attack Summer Item. Yep, so this is basically part two to the Summer Memories slash beach episode or holiday beach. I don't know what you want to call it. But yep, let's get right into it. Giant Bat Attack. Summer Item. Wow, this is the sea? It's really wide and blue. Alright, let's get a good look at Mel's outfit. Yeah, there's Darkness's outfit. I don't ever think I got that Darkness from, like, whichever banner she was from when they first started doing bikini units. But also, Mel's uniform is pretty cute. I like the yellow. That's her normal. They gave her the flowers and the little seashell necklace. But she has the tiny bit of green. Like, that's not her normal green that she has for her other <laughs> breasts. So, kind of weird, but I mean, it's a nice color. Also, I don't know what that is on her stomach. The strings with the stars. But the little bottom part of her swimsuit is pretty cute as well. She has a kind of tiger slash lightning design at that bottom with a little bit of black. But yeah, overall, I think hers is pretty good and Darkness uh, is also really good. Ah, it's your first time seeing the sea, right, Mel? Enjoy it today. For tonight, brother has prepared something delicious. I'm so excited. I don't remember Kameko calling Kazuma brother. Like, is this brand new or is this something that I've always missed? But yeah, basically Kazuma's the cook as always. That's right. But the afternoon is gonna also be fun. It's the duty of an older sister to make sure her little sister isn't bored. That's why I brought an item from the shop. Let's have fun with this today. Also, here's Wiz. I'm pretty sure she's brand new. Yeah, her outfit is pretty good. It's a much lighter purple than her, like, dark robe purple on her normal outfit. I mean, I don't know if that's a bra on the innermost part of her swimsuit, or if that is supposed to be the swimsuit. But yeah, the bottom part of her outfit looks fine. I like the midriff. Her arms are all showing. And the little flowers in her hair. Or pretty big flowers, I would say. Yeah, overall, this is a pretty good outfit. Hey, is that really okay? I'm worried. And yeah, they, these are the normal outfits as usual. I'm pretty sure I have Aqua. Hers is really pretty as per usual. Yeah, not, nothing much to say about it, but it, it is a really good outfit. I agree. I don't think it's going to help at all. You should make claims after you've seen the product. I'm really confident about this. <laughs> I can't wait for this product to cause problems. I don't know, it's probably gonna awaken the bats or something. Like, that's the only thing I can imagine it's gonna do. Is it a beach ball? You brought something quite nice. It's not just a beach ball. Because its repulsive force is strong, it flies with incredible power with just a light tap. Okay, that's quite a strange object. I mean, I'm guessing it's magic that makes it repulse, but yeah, that is strange. 
Man, this music is banging. Uh, I really do like the vibe of the beach. Why do we need such power when we're playing? Anything else? This is also a great product. It's a beach car cell. So someone that doesn't want to get a tan. A beach parcel for someone that doesn't want to get a tan. I don't know what a parasol. Well, I'm slaughtering the pronunciation of this, but parasol or parasol? And I don't even know what that object is. How would this thing protect you from getting a tan? Under the parasol, it's a dark and cold because it completely blocks off the sunlight and heat. It's perfect for resting. It's dark and cold. I don't know if anyone would want to feel dark and cold. I mean, that is some strong magic if it's able to block off the sun and actually be able to make it cold under like whatever it's covering, but... I'm pretty sure when, if someone goes to the beach, they don't want to feel cold. It's strangely difficult to use. Then, what about these fireworks? You have a good eye. It's so bright that you can't directly look at it. It's called Flashbang Fireworks. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Flashbang Fireworks? Yeah, a ton of people are going to go blind if these would actually do what flashbangs do. It's like, oh my god. Not only that, but probably death as well. A ton of people are going to get tetanus or tinnitus. I forget exactly what it's called. But, Jesus. Mm. Yeah, I get that Wizard Shop is still a business, even out at sea. How about we play in an ordinary way? That's what I've been waiting for. My body's been itching to jump into the sea. Me too. The sea is full of delicious things. There's also this product. Huh? Where did everyone go? Also, did she bring a, an entire shopping cart full of items? Like, how does she have all these items to sell? And why does she want to sell them to her friends? I'm going to be the first one to jump in. Ah, wait. We have to warm up first. We don't need that. Hooray! Don't. Jumping in. Listen. When you're going into the sea, you have to slowly... Blah! Okay, so first, the sentence is a little wrong, at least as far as I'm reading it. He's, he's saying, don't jumping in. Well, I'm pretty sure this is Bay. Don't go jumping in. Because, I don't know, the transition from don't to jumping is really rough. So I'm pretty sure he's supposed to just say go. Also, jumping is capitalized. And so, <laughs> from what I can tell in this scene, he's probably going into the water after Mel. And considering Mel's a lightning spirit, I don't know, she's probably unintentionally or maybe intentionally shocking the water. Kazuma? There are fish afloat around Mel. Could it be? Oh damn, she killed the fish too. Oh my! I discharged without realizing it. Well, it's not a problem seeing we got some fish. <laughs> I like how she just casually kills those fish and is like, Yeah, we can just use those guys for food. I mean, it's like, it feels like the intention is kind of wrong because like she didn't mean to kill them it's like if she wanted to kill the fish probably a little later that would have been acceptable but just killing the fish that were chilling you can't say that 
since it might bother the other customers. Please refrain from using electricity. I'm guessing he's paralyzed in the water trying to talk, but the water is still kind of flooding him or falling on top of him, and so he's struggling to talk. Huh? Come to think of it, where is darkness? I expected her to jump into the sea with a jolt. Hiya! Sister, I caught a hermit crab. That's my sister. She's young, but she's already a great hunter. Look, I even caught a crab before. I'm going to raise it when I return to the village. Raise it? I thought Kameko would say you would eat it. Okay, this sentence kind of confused me a little bit. But yeah, uh, the you part just kind of confused. What Darkness is saying here, I thought Kameko would say you would eat it. When she should be saying, I thought Kameko would say she would eat it. Yeah, just replace the you with the she. If you feed it and raise it with care, it evolves into a marbled red crab. It's going to taste even better. Do creatures actually evolve in this world? Like they just don't grow up into something different? They evolve? I mean, I guess you could technically say in our world, frogs evolve from tadpoles into frogs. And I guess you could also say that about caterpillars into butterflies, but a crab, like just not growing up to become a marbled crab, but evolving into a marble red crab. Kind of interesting. Oh, no. Unfortunately, that's... Ugh. Shh. Experience over words. At times, it's important to try it on your own. Okay, wait, I'm a little confused. What? If you feed it and raise it with care, it evolves. It's going to taste even better. Okay, I'm a little lost. Let's continue and see if they explain this. I see. I hope it becomes a delicious Marvel red crab, Kameko. Slurp. But even if I eat it now... Kameko, please don't eat it raw here. <laughs> I like how Megamine has to stop her. That night... Hmm, it smells good. So, you cook the ingredients on the steel wires like this. It's called a barbecue. It's simple, but you can look forward to the taste. Okay, so I'm guessing they're not going to explain it. But yeah, I'm very confused on this. Like, so the crab isn't going to evolve or grow up into... A marble red crab? Maybe that's a dish. Like, maybe Kanmeko thinks that the crab is just gonna become the dish of a marble red crab. Like, I don't understand what experience Megamine wants Kameko to have. Yeah, I'm, I'm just super confused about that. So, I don't know if that's supposed to be corrected into anything. Yeah, actually, click that. <laughs> but yeah, if anyone could explain that to me, I would love an explanation on what they're supposed to mean there. Since the subtitling team or translation team has such a hard time telling us what these characters actually mean. Is it not done yet, sister? Can we eat it now? We have to wait a bit more. Be patient. Okay. But are you going to barbecue that one? 
that one. Screech! 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 A giant bat! There's no way we're going to cook that! Did it follow the smell? I think we're going to eat after a battle. Right. Let's go, guys! Oh man, that art looks really beautiful. Main and fame quest. Interesting. What is this? Okay. Do I have to go here? Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to do this a little bit later. I don't want to do this right now. So, just, ju just give me a second to kind of get out of this. Alright, well, I finished up getting some tickets for this battle. So, let's get to this. Hold on, wait. Six... Oh, that's interesting. They raised up the level of how many tickets or... I don't know exactly what you call that, but like, tries. So now you can put up to 60 or you can put up like... Six times the amount of tickets. Oh! Okay, wait, what is this? You can now set the fame traits. You can obtain fame traits throughout the fame quest. Wow, interesting. I'm getting a little thing, so you get to set up some fame stuff. That's interesting. Switch, uh, suggest. Just want to go with that real quick. Boom, boom, no, 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 no. Yeah, this looks fine to me. Man, they, they really did quite a few things in this newest update. Scary. <laughs> Yeah, okay, damn. Get quite a few. And that raid completes my daily objective. Nice. Now we can try and defeat on normal. Let's see, so that's 120. Alright, let's see if we can defeat it. Yeah, man, usually Mia isn't the greatest because I really do hate, like, some of these buff-type characters. Like, unless they're buffing when they attack, I really don't like it too much. Like, there, that could have been an attack. You're buffing us, and the enemy is, like, weakens. Damn, it's gonna be close. It's like having a healer and a buffer is just so bad. Damn. Ah, man. Gotta use another 120. Like, yeah, that's a lot of tickets to use when you're having to retry. 
Like, look, it took us two more seconds to defeat it. Like, oh my god. But yeah, that's quite a lot. Alright, part two has been unlocked. Watch later. I just want to try and complete this one. Let's see. Yeah, switch her out for Iris. Damn, what why are you keep hitting him? Me too gear did nothing to you. But yeah, I can already see how this event's gonna kind of end. It's like I feel all these guys are gonna be fighting the giant bat. Ah, damn. Iris went down. And then here's Darkness. Like, damn, we're hardly doing anything to him. But yeah, Kameko's gonna basically eat all the food while we're battling. Because she was already, like, wanting to eat the food before the battle. And so this is basically gives her the perfect chance to eat everyone's dinner. And then they have no choice but to cook the giant bat, I would imagine. Damn, how much was that? 37%? Yeah, well, I'll finish that up on my own time, but... Yeah, that, that guy is pretty powerful. Alright, let's go to part two. Shall we enjoy the summer nights for a while? It's good enjoying the flames, but you should back sure not to burn yourself. But you should back sure not to burn yourself. I'm guessing this is supposed to be... You should make sure not to burn yourself. That's what I think she's trying to say. Why, why would they put back instead of make? Like, if that makes no sense, but oh, I guess these are just not fluent English speakers. Summer Items Part 2 Screech Screech Ugh. Stop squirming! My attacks won't hit if you keep doing that! Your attacks always miss, Darkness! Anyway, this isn't going to end. Only if we can stop it from moving! Just for a moment! Huh? That's it! Wiz! I'm going to borrow the fireworks that we brought. Okay, well, I thought the solution was going to be we need to stop it for a second. And so I thought Mel would be the solution since... Kazuma got paralyzed right after she, like, discharged. Sure. It doesn't matter if you use it. Thank you. Tinder! Here I go! Close your eyes! Screech! Yeah, these are nocturnal animals, and so something as bright as a flashbang, like that has to blind it, or at least do some serious damage to the eyes. What's going on? That's the flashbang fireworks that Wiz brought. That should have blinded the giant bat. This is our chance! Screech! I like how they don't even show how they killed it or brought it down. 
but yeah, I'm guessing the entire time they just couldn't hit it. That's probably what the main problem was. That it was too fast for any of them to hit. But yeah, I thought it was going to be like Mel using her lightning powers or Megamine using the explosion to take it down. But I guess not. Sigh. We did it. It's all thanks to Wiz's item. <laughs> and now Wiz is going to take that as, yeah, my item's great. And you guys should totally buy it. Even though you usually have useless junk, this time it helped. Yes, although it was used in a different way than it was intended. It's the benefit of the items to be able to apply to them. Okay, I really don't know what that last sentence is even supposed to mean. It's the benefits of the items to be able to apply to them. I'm guessing like in this particular situation it was a benefit that the firework was able to blind the bat and so that makes the item look better it's kind of a weird way to phrase it but i think i understand what she means well if you consider this beach ball as a weapon it's a good product although we can never play with it it's a complicated feeling, but I'm honored that I can help. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I was right. Consider this beach ball a weapon. <laughs> that they haven't even attempted to play with it, or like, we didn't even see this thing become, like, super deadly. Like, they should have set him up with, like, the flashbang and then hit him with the beach ball. And then that would have killed the beast. Then... We should see, like, Megamine's reluctance to even touch the beach ball. Great! The barbecue is also ready! It's all done. So, dig in. Thank you for the food! Phew! I'm full. I can't eat anymore. Me too. We even ate the fish that Mel caught here. Are you satisfied, Kameko? <laughs> no, she's still gonna want to eat the bat. Yeah, it was delicious. But I could eat more if I wanted to. Stop when you're satisfyingly full. Above all, today's fun isn't over yet. Look! Oh! Fireworks! This is perfect for a summer night. Now, let's all enjoy the fireworks. I won't lose when it comes to fireworks. I brought different kinds of fireworks, other than the flashbang fireworks. Good job, Wiz. Please, share some with us. I'm gonna light them up. I hope she's not planning to light them up right here, right now. Like, it, it, she's like, give me some whiz, and then she blasts them all to do a quote-unquote prank. Oh, it's similar to rocket fireworks. Huh? It feels like it's coming this way. Kazuma! It looks like I'm the target! Those fireworks have an auto-tracking feature that allows it to chase anyone nearby. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Why would they need auto-tracking? You're not supposed to shoot these at people. I mean, I guess if you wanted to turn them into weapons. It is not amazing! He's energetic even after eating. Let's relax and enjoy the fireworks that Kazuma brought. <laughs> that Kazuma brought? So I don't know if like Wiz brought her own fireworks and Kazuma brought his own. But yeah, it's like... <laughs> or, or they're talking about Wiz here. But yeah, that's funny. <laughs> they're just watching. It's like, okay, those guys will be chased with the fireworks. We'll be relaxing over here. 
Should we? The fireworks without any additional devices aren't so bad. I like how Wiz is just talking down these normal fireworks. Being like, yeah, these fireworks aren't as special without the auto tracking or the extra kaboom that can instantly blind you or deafen you. But they're all right. Let's get a good look at this art. I love this. This art is actually really great. Like, I would almost consider this four star art. It's got two characters in it, aside from Wiz. And all of them look in pretty good, like, quality. They look all on character. And yeah, everyone just looks cute. Mel over there playing with the firework being like, haha. And also, Kameko being super excited, being like, yeah, we're playing with fireworks. And looking to Wiz being like, this is so fun. And I guess Wiz just admiring the piece. Yeah, it's really pretty. All of them in their outfits. <laughs> Sigh. Let's rest for a bit. First, I'm going to enjoy the fireworks over there. My name is Kameko. The one that controlling the exploding fireworks at will. Yeah, I knew that's basically what she was like. Yeah, I'm controlling these fireworks. <laughs> Amazing. I will try dual wielding next. Watch me, sisters. Yeah, has Kameko always called everyone brother and sister? I'm guessing she's basically calling all the girls sisters instead of just calling Megami and sister. The fireworks sure are great. It's fancy and beautiful, but it passes by too quickly compared to that. What is with darkness right now being like 13 and deep? Like what, what is with this? Is she going through an existential crisis? Wait! Why are you so peaceful when I'm in trouble? No! How long is that going to chase me? Wiz! This one is the finest items. I'll buy it in bulk. Really? Thank you so much for your purchase. <laughs> yeah, she's basically gonna use it in pranks, and I don't even know what the, like, use is. Is this supposed to be a weapon? And obviously, Mel's not going to use it like a weapon. So, I guess that can tie back to, like, how they defeated the bat. Like, using it, like, its unintended purpose. But still, it's so weird. Stop talking about sales in a situation like this! Like that, Kazuma's party enjoyed a thrilling summer night. After they slay the monster. But yeah, what's up with darkness? Like, why is she so down in the dumps? And kind of depressed. They didn't even, like, answer that. Alright. Part 2 complete. Alright, interesting. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out next time. Uh, on why darkness is depressed. Yeah, that could have been like an in its own like different storyline on why darkness is looking down in the dumps. And like them coming to the beach could be her like their attempt to cheer her up. I don't know. Like, that was just strange. But overall, the event was eh, pretty fun. Seeing all these characters just hang out together. And have a great time. Like, I just love how Mel and Kameko kind of are alike. Like, they're very loving of the fireworks. And they both love food. So, not bad, not bad. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed 
Konosuba Fantastic Days, Giant Bat Attack, Summer Item. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel and like and comment on all my videos and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, whether it's my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.